Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Roxxon Spark Multi-Tool. The price tag on this, $25. It's on Amazon. I'll include a link. You want to check it out or you want to buy one. And you are at the We All Juggle Knives channel, by the way. So this tool is supposed to be either like a camping tool, outdoor tool, survival, bushcraft, and at this price, it's also simply a budget multi-tool as well. All right, well, we'll see about that. I got a lot of usage footage coming up. Now, this tool comes with a small fire steel that, like, kind of like the Leatherman signal, right? It locks in there. That's also a whistle. Interesting. It also has a wood saw with a locking, a locking saw blade, liner lock there. The smaller tools are an awl, a reamer, and a scraper. It's also got a Phillips screwdriver. It's got a bottle opener, a can opener, and another screwdriver. Now that is the lock release. All three of those tools also lock. That's a good thing. This has a pocket clip as well. All right, and I don't know if you can hear, but it was, it was raining ice when I did this review. There's the pliers with the uh, wire cutters. Yeah, it was raining ice. Speaking of survival, I did survive. It's got a one-handed opening blade with a liner lock for that as well. All right, and you, you see the thumb stud. The blade is three inches. So notice the shape of the blade. It's made for draw cuts, but then they've given you a little bit of a curve so you can also slice through. So to me, that blade shape, it's a utility blade shape. It's a good idea. This also comes with a pouch in addition to the, uh, the pocket clips. Got a little belt loop there and Velcro on the front. So that's your pouch. All right, let's try this thing out. First, I will demonstrate the saw. So with saws, you know, you can have neutral teeth where they're just straight up and down. But this saw, the teeth slant towards you, essentially. Uh, it's not the smoothest saw I've ever used. Uh, it required me to basically hold the piece of wood steady just more firmly than uh, with a smoother saw. But nonetheless, overall, the saw functions if you had to in a pinch you could use this for woodwork making grooves making notches making stop cuts and in a fairly short period of time I had a nice straight groove right there and I did go through it all the way but you know I got some other stuff to cover so let's move on all right here these are homemade fire starters we're gonna do the fire steel now because it was so freaking cold and raining ice I decided to use uh, my little homemade fire starters to help out. Just I don't want to be messing around here forever, you know. We're supposed to be surviving. Don't don't mess around with cold. Just start the freaking fire. So there, I'm using the saw as the striker. Uh, it's interesting when they try to put a fire starting method into a multi tool. Again, just like the Leatherman signal, you know. It's uh, well, there you go. My, my little fire starter thingies work pretty well. Just like with the Leatherman signal, people, you know, I'm not sure if they should actually put it on the tool or just have a fire steel like slot on the sheath itself, right? Because then you could have a much bigger fire steel. But I'm not going to complain about like a small backup fire steel. It does get worn out pretty quickly. All right, moving on to the, the blade, some blade usage. Now, because this is supposed to be like an outdoor multi-tool, I'm just showing it cutting into some wood because normally I would show more of a utility function like cutting cardboard, but I didn't think you'd be encountering much cardboard out in the wilderness there. So, as you can see, the blade is fairly good at taking out chunks from this uh, gnarly firewood. I'm prepping that piece of wood for some whittling, but it's, it's got a long way to go before it is uh, the basic uh, blank shape that I'm going for. It'll probably eventually become like a letter opener or something like that. Now, if you don't like this multi-tool, you might consider the other Roxons. I've already reviewed the Roxon Storm and the Roxon KS, which is like knife scissors. Yeah, the Roxon KS would probably be one of the most useful everyday carry Minimalist multi-tools for most people. I'll include links to all the Roxons and other budget options in the text description box. Ah, some food prep. I figure if you are carrying this out, out there, there is a chance you might wish to use this for food prep. So there you go. It's now the cooking channel. I'm going to make like a little ornate swan out of um, some turnips. Now I'm just kidding. I, I lack that capability. So this thing, because of the thumb stud, 
has a little trouble going through. You know, the thumb stud is a little bit in the way, but you, you can manage. They might want to replace that with an opening hole, but I'm not quite sure how far the opening hole would have to stick out to have the ergos right, but it's just a thought. But anyway, yeah, in a pinch, you can slice up some food. You, I'm sure you could, like, you know, prepare a squirrel if, if you had to. I mean, it's a fairly sharp blade. Speaking of sharp, this was before. The initial sharpness on this was pretty good. It wasn't totally smooth, like it got hung up slightly. Um, yeah, it was slightly rough, but I mean, really for... For an inexpensive tool, the edge was not bad at all when, when it first came out of the box, and of course you can sharpen it yourself. Alright, testing out the pliers a little bit, just grabbing on this nail. Now, you know, I do this because I want to see if the pliers flex, if they bend, if they break. So, a little yanking, within reason. You can break anything if you try hard enough. I'm not trying to like destroy for the sake of destroying. But yanking on this nail. Alright, there you go, pulling out a long nail. Alright, so they did pretty gr good at just the basic gripping. Alright, we're going to test out the uh, wire cutters. First, the easy wire, the easy bendy wire. Gotta get it in the frame there. Yeah, it does really well on the easy wire as as you would expect. And after this, we're going to do the more hardcore wire. Will it do it? So this is the three strand wire cable wire that people want to see. Will it do it? And there you go. It actually it actually did really well on that wire one more time. Yeah, so if you have to cut that stuff at work, this would do. Of course, not much of that in the wilderness, but hey, I guess it's I guess you could use it at work too. I don't know. All right, I'm going to demo the reamer function. Now, a reamer is a hand drill. It's used to create or enlarge holes like you could make a lanyard hole in the handle of a, a hatchet or something if you wanted to. This is also an awl, which is a leather punch or just a punch in general. And I'm just going to demo the reamer function because if it can freaking ream through wood, then yes, it could also punch through leather or other material. It's pointy. It's chisel ground. They're also calling it a scraper, and that's because it is chisel ground. So yeah, it is a scraper. You could use this as a striker for the fire steel, but it works better uh, if you're using your right hand. So that's why I didn't use it. But as you can see, it is reaming out that... Uh, we're making a divot essentially. So with this one multi-tool, you got the wood saw for grooves and notches. You got the reamer for divots and drilling holes. You've got the blade for push cuts and whittling. Um, so a lot of woodwork ability here. And then you can light it on fire with the fire steel. So there's the divot. Yeah, the reamer does work pretty well, you know, so... And you could sew with that too. It's got a sewing hole. All right, more stuff. Bottle opener. We got some hard cider. I'm not going to drink that. I no longer uh, partake because of the calories. But there you go. The bottle opener works. All right, can opener. I got some veggies. Veggies are healthy for you. You should definitely eat them. So I'm just going to show that it can, one, hook into the rim. And two, it is sharp enough to puncture. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm not eating those right now. I'm going to put that in the fridge till later. <laughs> All right, here is the screwdriver function. That was That's my Kershaw Camp 12 machete, which I've already done a full review of. You want to check that out. So it's got two screwdrivers. The first one, the Phillips. Now, even though this is like an outdoor tool, there's plenty of items of gear that do um, require a screwdriver. Like, for example, maybe you have a little, little survival kit hidden in the handle scales of your machete or something. All right, so you saw uh, it unscrewed it. It screwed it back. That screwdriver works well, and it's a good thing this locks, okay, so you don't got like the ben bendy knuckle buster screwdrivers on this. And here's the other screwdriver, which also happens to fit this very same screw. I've gotten so much use out of this machete as a demonstrator of screwdrivers, uh, but if you want to see it actually chop something, check out the review. But I do like that they put two screwdrivers on this just because, uh, as I said, there's lots of gear that uh, these will fit. And even if it's an outdoor tool, I mean, 
you're not going to be constantly outdoors. It's still useful just uh, around town or so forth to have two screwdrivers that lock. Now, if you like videos like this where people test out and demo all the stuff, make sure to subscribe, of course. All right, one more item. This has a whistle at the end of the fire steel. All right, this might hurt your ears a little, but here we go. All right, so the, the whistle works. All right, final thoughts and conclusions on this multi-tool. Well, the thing with fitting a small fire steel actually on a multi-tool is that uh, you have a lot less leverage because it's just a shorter fire steel and there's less material there so it will wear out more quickly. And I'm not bashing rocks on. I say the same thing about Leatherman Signal's small fire steel. Of course, they always say, oh, it's just a backup. It's just for emergencies. But, you know, backups tend to get used more than, than you would think in theory. What would I suggest? Um, I think they should include a lot of reloads for this mini, the mini fire steel. Like, I think they should include five of them with each multi-tool. I'm not sure how much it costs to actually make that little whistle fire steel, but if, if at all possible, I think they should include, like, several of them with your multi-tool. Even if it's, you know, maybe it has to be, like, 50 cents more. Who cares? I would pay 50 cents more to have those reloads. So that's my feeling on that. I also feel that survival multi-tools might be better if they just included like a full-size fire steel slot on the sheath itself instead of trying to affix it to the handle of the multi-tool. Just some thoughts, but overall, this is very good for the price. I mean, $25, I could show you 20 other multi-tools in the same price range that were less well done and less useful than this. So just as a budget multi-tool in general that can do a lot of stuff, I like it. Like I said, this is basically a woodworking tool. You got the reamer for drilling, the saw for grooves, you can whittle with the blade, and you can even gather up your shavings and start them on fire and warm yourself up. The pliers are useful, the wire cutters worked, the blade came pretty sharp, uh, all the tools lock, which is a good thing. They've really crammed a lot of usefulness, like that, that double opener with the uh, screwdriver end, that's a lot of usefulness for just one short tool. Now, Roxon itself is a pretty good brand, especially for the prices. After I reviewed the Roxon Storm, Roxon actually added a lock to the saw on the Roxon Storm. So they are trying to improve. They, they do listen to feedback, right? So I will include a link to this and to some of their other tools. And of course, I don't play favorites. I'm going to include links uh, to other brands, other budget options, and you can assess those for, for yourself. And maybe I've done reviews of those too. So you can check those out. Please try to use those links. They do help the channel and I really appreciate it. If you like in-depth videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Multi-Tools. I'm out.